So we have calculated all the key values that relate to our profit and loss statement and now we can use that in our analysis or visuals. But sometimes we need to work on specific expenses or income. For example, we may need to work on marketing expense and we need to present that in the visualizations, maybe in related to the sales because you know usually the sales is related to the marketing expense. So how we can specifically define any specific type of expense or income we are going to do that in this lecture and for example we are going to take the marketing expense so the point is my system still does not know what is my marketing expense and that is because i haven't defined that i have defined sales i have defined gross profit and all these values but marketing expense has still not been defined and similarly if you need to work on any other expense like administration or sales and distribution you will have to calculate that so we are going to do that for marketing right now but before i start typing any formula let us recall in our chart of accounts that at what level the marketing was defined so here in my chart of accounts you can see that the marketing expense has been classified at the subclass level 2 and if i say that subclass 2 equals marketing then all of these different type of marketings will be marketing expenses will be covered so i would say that please sum the values where subclass 2 equals marketing let us do that in the tableau so let us go to add an a calculated field and i would name this marketing expense and let us start typing the very uh, common formula the very common formula to us that we have been using all across in this course until now so i will say sum f subclass level 2 equals marketing expense and i will close the inverted commas and i will say then if you know if this condition is met then sum the amount else answer me zero and end the formula and close the bracket and we have defined this formula and the calculation is valid i will just click on ok and the marketing expense has been added i will just drag it down from here to this section and you can see oh unexpectedly the marketing expense is zero so i just need to see what is happening first of all i will see the format and it is in numbers so there is some mistake that we have done so most probably we have written we must have written marketing expense a little different to what has been defined in the chart of accounts so i will go back to my chart of account and you can see it was just marketing as mentioned there so we have mistakenly mentioned marketing expense so i'll go back to my tableau and i will go back to my calculated field here i can go there by simply clicking right click here and click on and it and in this year i will delete this marketing expense i will just leave the marketing now i'll press ok and now you can see we have our values and of course these values are in negative because they are expenses uh, you may like to present these values in positive specifically in the visuals so when we are making the charts some people prefer to you know present the expenses as well in the positive number and for that what you can do is you can simply go back to your formula and where you have defined the amount you will just multiply that with minus one and your end result will be in the positive value but anyways i'm comfortable with the negative values as well so i will leave as is and before we wind up of course we should be checking this against our pnl if our marketing expense values are correct or not so i'll go back to my dashboard and you can see here we have our PL and unfortunately we haven't uh, applied the subtotal at this point so i'll go back to my PL in the visual and i will go back to this level of uh, you know subclass level 2 and i will say please apply subtotals and where i can do that i'll click here and i will just undo once i check the values so you can see the marketing subtotal is 343088 that is the same we have 343088 then we have 58923 so that is 58923 here in the marketing yes that is here 58923 and then we should have 959128 so we have 959128 so all of these values are correct i'll go back i'll simply undo so that my values are back in the pnl structure that i have created for my dashboard 
and I will make sure that values are correctly presented on my dashboard. So that is it. I have calculated my marketing expense because I need to present that in my visualizations against the sales. But if you have to work on any specific type of income or expense, you will have to define the measure in the same way. That is it. Let us move forward.